Hello guys, Survival Tech here. Hey, today we're going to talk about uh, uh, survivor comms and community communications. Yeah, uh, communications for people who are not necessarily technically inclined or radio people or simply don't have a whole lot of experience with radios. And what I'm holding in my hand is a uh, Wuxung KG819 uh, VHF radio. Yeah, it's a really simple radio, but it's not really the point of the of the video, but it's a very good example. Um, my belief is, um, sometimes you have people who are, for example, buying these uh, Beofang uh, UV5Rs and R, uh, UV5RE and so on. There's a, a few different versions of them. You have these people out buying these uh, radios now. But they have absolutely no idea how to use them. Uh, I mean, for heaven's sake, they can't even program them with the computer. Um, and that's not saying that they shouldn't buy them. Yeah, uh, It's a cheap radio, and uh, certainly lots of ham radio operators like them, and lots, lots of uh, uh, survivalists and preppers like them as well, because they're, you know, well, they're cheap. Um, and they can, you know, get on... Uh, well, the frequencies that they want to get on, uh, I mean, what with what would normally cost them a couple of hundred euros at least, or dollars at least. But uh, the problem comes when uh, you give someone these radios who has no idea uh, what frequencies to use, uh, and we're not even talking about legalities here, forget that, yeah? Shit has already hit the fan, and uh, you have someone with the radio, Let's say, for example, this radio. You've got someone with a radio who has no uh, uh, radio background or anything, or they use CB radios or GM, uh, GMRS, FRS, uh, what do you call it, uh, PMR radios, and whatever. But then you give them something like this. It's got a thousand buttons, it's got a thousand submenus, and they have absolutely no freaking idea how to use it. Um, then they turn it on, yeah, and I mean, from their perspective, there's a couple of thousand frequencies for them to choose from. Uh, they don't know what frequencies they're using. They don't know uh, even you know, what frequencies to use uh, on the radios that they've been used to. It said channel two or, or channel or three, like that. Or whatever. Uh, of course, anybody can learn, and learn learning is only a matter of repetitive uh, training. Yeah, if you do it enough times, you'll figure it out. You'll learn, and uh, you'll be proficient. It's that simple. You may not know why, but you'll know how. And that's good enough for, for amateur radio in many cases, at least with these low power devices. My point now is that uh, you've got a community, yeah? Shit has hit the fan, then uh, the zombies are outside your perimeter, yeah? Um, everybody's got to contribute. Everybody's got to be a part of the security plan. Everybody's got to understand the comms plan, but you don't have time to give everyone a crash course in ham radio or communications uh, 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 physics and theory. Yeah. So do you really want to give someone this one? Yeah. If you can accomplish the exact same thing with this one without uh, teaching them anything, except uh, basic rules of communication, when to talk, when not to talk, how to talk, and, and so on, what channel to be on. Do you really want to give someone this when you could do the same job with this? Now, uh, one of the guys on YouTube that I occasionally watch, uh, Hibernia Sun, he said, give them all CB radios. That, uh, that was his opinion in that particular example he was talking about. Uh, the point is a very, very good one. This is essentially a CB radio, except that uh, you program the channels in that you want. Now... On this radio, I've got a programmed, uh, well, there's 16 uh, memory channels. And I can fill each one of those 16 memory channels with the channel of my choice. So rather than this example, where we have to punch in frequencies and things like that, yeah, um, the person only has to learn uh, a number, channel 1 through 16, and so on. That's all they have to learn. They don't need to know what frequency it's on. Uh, they don't need to, need to know if it's split frequency or if there's a DTMF tone or... Yeah, and they, they don't need to know all that. All they have to do is push that freaking button and talk. That's it. 
Uh, whereas this one, uh, sure, you can also set up memory channels and things like that, but there's still a thousand different sub-menus behind these buttons. Yeah, it's vastly too complicated. Yeah, and that's true for the Beofan UV5R, it's true for the Yezu radios, it's, it's true for almost every uh, amateur radio. Yeah, but this one, this is the kind of radios that cops use. This is the kind of radios that security guards use. This is the kind of radio that uh, fire departments use. And yes, it is made in China, but it's made IP55 and mil standard. Yeah, not the highest mil span standard, of course. I mean, if you use it to kill someone, it will certainly break. Yeah, but it's waterproof, it's shockproof, it's rugged. Uh, there's no display, there's only a volume. And a channel selector. Five, six, seven. That's it. You know, you also have uh, okay a couple of other things that are really cool for non-technical pull. But ooh, a flashlight. Yeah, you've also got uh, FM radio. Uh, the point is not uh, the, the features of this radio. The point is in a survival situation where you have a community and you need to coordinate community communications, whether it simply be a small group like your family or a, a larger group uh, like some of these uh, survival retreats uh, where whole communities have come together uh, to support one another in a, 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 in a world after the shit hits, hits the fan. So it's possible to give people the communications that they need without giving people all of the complexity uh, of these, these uh, more advanced amateur radios. Moreover, you can keep them on the frequencies that you need them on, yeah? Because you, just, you simplify everything. You've got uh, skilled radio people who program these radios, put the right uh, uh, frequencies in there, following your group's communications plan, yeah? That's the whole point, isn't it? So you get people to follow the plan without the complexity of this by removing that complexity and giving them something like this. Now again, security guards, cops, fire departments, search and rescue, um, many of them are using radios just like this. Single band radio with all the capabilities of this and in some ways even more, but the display is gone, all the buttons are gone, you know, it's just vastly simplified. Please guys, think about this in your communications plan. If you have family members, uh, you know, who are, uh, you have family members or, 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 or people close to you who just aren't interested to learn or who aren't willing to learn or for whatever reason, but you still want to include them in the communications plan, you give them something like this, and it's a lot less intimidating than something like this. Yeah? So, this is again a practical way to implement your communications plan after shit hits the fan. I hope I didn't babble too much. Rock and roll. Thanks for watching. Ciao.